Hello friends and welcome to another video with me, Janky Shenanigans. Today I am playing a game that I am very excited to be playing. It is one of the first supplemental games to the indie game releasing in February, Night in the Woods, which just everything about it is just like, mm, from the style to the humor of it to just everything about it, just, I just look at it and I'm like, I want to play that game so bad. So, in order to prepare for that game, I have decided to play the two demos that the studio has put out. This is the first one, The Longest Night, that I'm so excited to be playing with you guys, so without further ado, let's get rolling on it, shall we? Mmm, I love this music. Why aren't I cold? Fire. We have fire. We have reached that level of civilization. Oh. I'm bored. Oh, feels like we've been here forever. Oh. We should do the Longest Night Constellation thing. What, really? I haven't done that since I was like six. No one has done that since they were like six. I don't remember being six. Really? Really? Yeah, I don't remember much before eight and a half. That's very specific. B is a synthetic life form created at age 8.5. That makes so much sense. <laughs> beep boop beep. <laughs> one, one, zero, one, one. Okay, whatever. I'm done. Can we just do this thing? None of us knows enough about the constellations to even do it, B. Yeah, B. I do. Since when? Since always. Now listen up, dummies. We're going to school. Space school. Here we go. I can't see anything. We're pattern finders. Find some patterns. Oh. Oh. No. Okay. So it's it's the sounds. Okay. That's like accordion. Okay. Those are like bells. Okay, those are guitars. Hey, a fish. And a fish. Pretty self explanatory. Hmm. Fun fact, fish is my sign. Oh, I get to choose. I think that means you're adaptable and smelly, or I think that means you're a failure in all things. Oh my goodness. I think that means you're adaptable and smelly. <laughs> Got one of those, right, huh, Captain? Got a manly musk going here. <laughs> I smell like that stuff I got you, finally. Oh, you smell like that stuff I got you. Finally. Ice hawk. It has a picture of an ice hawk on it. <laughs> I smell quite masculine. Like an ice hawk. I think you smell nice, Angus. Thanks. Aww. What's an ice hawk? <laughs> <laughs> I 
I like these guys. Ooh. Sometimes... Hmm. snake the first thing that talked that story always made me so annoyed I don't remember any of the voices I do for these people it's fine I totally I was totally the kid in Sunday school who pitched a fit over this story oh my god I remember that <laughs> you got sent out to the adult church to sit with your parents no punching cookies for me well I certainly missed out on all that Oh, dude. You didn't even. I'm so focused on the game. I got... I gotta... I gotta figure out their personalities. I don't have a feel for them yet. Yeah, there's something. Rubello. Pope. Sometime in the late 1400s. Crazy times. Oh my god, I love this one. There were two rival popes. And Rubello won by opening his mouth <laughs> and consuming them with fire. <laughs> then he ate them. You go, Rubello. You're my hero. What? <laughs> <laughs> I knew that one. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. I mean, historically, his extended family poisoned one and stabbed the other before throwing him into the canal. But he did eat them. He did eat them, <laughs> yes. <laughs> that may be the raddest thing I've ever heard. I agree. Chomp chomp, whoops, I ate you. <laughs> now I'm the Pope. I mean, it's one way. It's one way to become Pope, I guess. Harmonium, the head of the singing orders of angels. Ugh, this one. Mom always said I looked like this one. I can see it. I sure can't. Bleeding so many cranky angels. Crouching hard. Across the sky. Okay. Moving on. <laughs> So that must connect back to the beginning, then. Hey, it's a whale! Mundy, the world fish. Back then, they thought whales were fish. And you know that the world was on one. Mundy is my sign. Hmm. Dig it. Oh my god. Of course it is. Hey! What's that mean? Uh... <laughs> well, if it meant any of this... Well, if any of this meant anything, then it might mean something, but it doesn't, so it doesn't. Um... 
are those whale sounds? Are those supposed to be whale sounds? What What are you doing? Yes, th I love this cat. This cat is so on point with me. Whale noises. Is th yeah. That was all quite weird. Tolmatron. It rings at the end of the world. And Monday shakes everything off her back. And I think it all catches fire, too. It all made sense back then. Back when people were like, wicked dumb. Yeah, I don't mean to sound like a jerk, but people were super dumb back then. It's all relative. And full of dumb people. Beautiful dumb people. Hmm, I'll give you that. They were beautiful. What? Oh, maybe like that? There we go. Inverness, the inventor of music. Nice beak. Reminds me of Germ. <laughs> oh, Jervy isn't even that musical, like, at all. Hmm. Hmm. Who? What? Germ. Germ that hangs out. Germ. Where is Germ? Doing God knows what with whatever weird family he has. I imagine him secretly being some kind of trickster wizard. Who's assumed baffling form. What? <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh no, May had space sickness. It took away her memory. Eject her from the airlock. <laughs> Seriously, May. He's germ. You, you know germ. Wait, wait. Are we in space? Why aren't I cold? This is a weird game. I like it, that's weird. Um, uh, Qunona. Executed by some king somewhere. Her head continued to speak against her murderers for years. That's pretty sweet. Ugh, you'd think, right? But in the story, she's portrayed as annoying. She was, like, being a martyr. <laughs> About literally being martyred. And they eventually put her head in a trunk and threw it in the river. <laughs> What'd she do? Talked. Out loud. In public. Oh, really? Seriously? That was enough, apparently. Supposedly, if you put your head under water in some river in Italy, she'll tell you about her murder. They renamed it the River of Guilt. But not like the guilt of her murderers, more like she's giving you a guilt trip for something stupid. Well, that constellation's garbage. <laughs> Chop off my head, I'll bite yours off. Happy longest night, everyone. Moving on. <laughs> okay. I'm starting to get a sense for who these people are as characters. Oh! Lucio! Oh, uh, yeah. Wait. What? Lucio the Fox. Scourge of the French countryside. Yeah, totally French. Totally a scourge. Why does he have a spear through him? The candle that burns twice as bright gets speared through the guts. Beautiful. Just beautiful. <laughs> you can see why this one's so popular. Okay. Apparently people love a love a good murder. Marmanones, the little king. He was a, a, a king who was little? I don't, I don't know. I don't know anything about this one. Apparently, a little king was big news back then. I don't think he was even supposed to be that small. Stop the presses. So there's this king, right? <laughs> but, but get this, he's like slightly smaller than you'd expect. He wears small shoes! It, let's, let's immortalize him in the night sky! Hey, I'm kinda short. May Borowski, Constellation. Nah. 
Everyone who's picked for constellations is dead now. Well, maybe they're all dead. Maybe that's why she isn't cold. Oh wait, no. Would you be cold? I don't know. I bond the first singer. Ever see the opera based on this? No. Yeah, no. No. Oh, it's brilliant. It's like 21 hours long. And 100 years ago, when it was playing in a bright harbor, the stage exploded during the part where Ivan crashes his balloon into the world worm. Sweet. Was anyone killed? Like, a lot of people. Oh. Listen, if you can't laugh at that, I have bad news about the rest of history. <laughs> Fair enough. the diamond from the crown of Rubello at the fire-breathing Pope. Sweet. Got arrowed to death like 200 feet from the palace. So, he didn't get a consolation for being a great thief then. He did not. <laughs> Screw the man, steal their diamonds. Ah yes, the revolutionary zeal of kids from the suburbs. Possum Springs isn't the suburbs. Yeah, you need to be a city to be suburbs. <laughs> We're in the dead center of nowhere. Ah, this cat speaks to me on a spiritual level. It's like 40 minute drive if you want to buy shoes. Also, I'm 21. I'm not a kid. I think you're younger than me. I'm 21 too. We both have full-time jobs. Well, as close to full-time as they can get before they have to start giving us health insurance. I'll be like 20 in four months. Okay, fine. You're all very serious adults. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. Now I have to figure out this one. Yeah. The mice writers. Inventors of written language. Are they supposed to be like thousands of them? Listen, there's only so much sky. The mice writers are my sign. Uh, hmm. I think that means you're sc <laughs> I think that means you're thousands of geniuses. I think that means you're screwed. What? Mice are nature's snake cakes. <laughs> if you want to follow the food chain all the way down, you will find mice. I'm sorry, Gregory, but uh, your days are numbered. No way, man. I'm forever. We did it! We found them! We found all the constellations. Well, that's all 13 of them. Yay! Thanks, Angus! That was pretty great. Ah, you're a big old nerd, Captain. Yes. Yes, I am. You should be a professor. Ah, uh, I think I'd like to fill that role at the video store. Well, I should probably get home. Wait. I just realized that I haven't hung out with you in years, B. What? Yeah. Yeah, we haven't hung out since, like, the seventh grade. Oh, I remember. I was there, you, you were a massive jerk. But why am I at the Longest Night Bonfire with you? Because you just miss me so much? Wait. Are we actually in space? But I'm warm and, and breathing. What am I sitting on? <laughs> Tyrannosaurus pattern. <laughs> what? Oh, wait, hold on. I haven't seen Greg and Angus for like a year and a half. Regret and emptiness. I don't. I, I don't go home for the longest night. Laundry day. Apple juice taste from where you threw up earlier. What are we saying now? You have to call home. You don't want to call home. It's too late to take the bus. 
What made you think of me today? You don't want to take the bus. This is your new life. Is it still new after a year and a half? Underwear adjust. What? Next year will be new again. Next you will be new again. Leg stretch. What? What is... Oh. Home's not going to call itself. Night in the woods. Well, that was weird. I'm looking forward. I'm looking forward to the rest of that game. Will I get the voices sorted by then? Probably not. They'll probably still be weird and strange and awful. But that's okay. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, you can totally leave a like down below. Comments, positive or negative. If you are excited for Longest Night, you can have... Or, er, not Longest Night. If you've played Longest Night or you're excited for Night in the Woods, you can, of course, leave those comments down below, too. I will also be playing The Lost Constellation leading up to the release of Night in the Woods, which is the other demo game which I'm looking forward to playing. More than that, I hope you have a lovely day, evening, whenever you happen to be watching. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And until the next time, this is Janky Shenanigans, signing out. Thank you.